everyone and today again no no um screen today because again this fight these fires don't have any training footage they don't have any fights they have fights but they don't have any uh training footage for me to review so i'm just gonna have to talk about them and see how good they would do so um what i've seen so far is that um halal ham has got two fights apparently first he fought salt puppy which he very first actually way way before salt puppy i think he fought in one of the ksi v logan events where deji and j paul had their first fight so oh, um basically over here there he fought i don't know if he won but i think he lost i remember he lost and then comes later on and he gets a fight offer with salt puppy and then he fights again so halal ham gets destroyed by salt puppy salt puppy just pieces him up bro man slick with it he looked very slick very good he was laughing at halal ham he was taking the mick out of halal ham he was enjoying himself in the ring so he destroyed Halal Ham. So then comes another Misfits card. This was probably after I started reviewing Misfits. Like, I started reviewing Misfits for 004. And I think this is way before Misfits 004. It was when Halal Ham was versing DTG. I don't know this YouTuber, but apparently this guy like destroyed Halal Ham and he got robbed. Apparently he got robbed. Like uh, his win. He got his win robbed. So I don't know. So I need to check the fight. But apparently that guy got like he got robbed i don't have the footage on today for us to watch i wish i did but i do not have any footage so yeah so basically halal ham has not looked that good in his fight so far not looked any good so far then there's jinty who i actually used to follow on tiktok um i used to follow him on tiktok and uh I don't know if he's on TikTok anymore or he's just stopped posting. But I remember I used to see his videos about him making you silly boy like uh, TikToks. So basically after that, um, he fought JMX, which was completely not a good idea to fight JMX because last time JMX fought, he destroyed his he destroyed his opponent. And now again he's fighting JMX, who's already was good in his first fight, and now just dominate Jinty in the second fight. Looked very technical, very good. Obviously, I can't review the footage because it's misfits and I'll get copyright striked. But he got destroyed by JMX. He did, I think. Actually, I was surprised. I think he did knock him down once. I think he did knock down JMX once. But other than that, JMX just came back. He knocked Jinty again down, and then he came back and he stopped anyone by decision. So Jinty also has not looked the best. Both of them have not looked very impressive. But um, it's going to be an interesting fight. The thing is though, is that I think Halal Ham, who has more fat, like has more weight, has more fat. So because of that. When Jinty punches Halal Ham, he won't get too damaged. And uh, Jinty is very thin. He's very thin. The only reason he weighs more and he's flying at heavyweight is because of his height mainly. His height. <coughs> so because of his height, that's the only reason he's fighting with Halal Ham. So basically, um, he would have a reach advantage, I think. Because I think Jinty is... Taller than Halal Ham. Uh, if I can, I'll check here. Halal. Halal Ham's weight. I don't know his weight, but I think he's. Uh, 
He lost. Oh, it doesn't matter if he lost 45 pounds, man. Oh, I don't care about that. How much did Salt Puppy? I don't care about Salt Puppy. I care what is his height. But I think he's. I think he's very. Um, he's very short. Halal Ham is very short. I think. I think Jinty will have a more reach advantage. I think Jinty is like six foot. Jinty height. Jinty's height. Uh, I swear, Jinty. I think Jinty's like six foot or something. He actually looks good here. He's got muscle and everything. He looks ripped. But when I saw him in this fight, he was very fat. He looked fat. But on stage, he looked ripped. I don't know why. He looked dead ripped. Um, so that does mean that he has some, he has like very good stamina, you could say, but he was very messy, like Jinty. He was very messy, like very, um, very overhand throws, very like messy. Halal Ham, at least he's like, he can block, he can at least hit a jab, at least he can do jabs i don't know if he can hook but he can pop that jab you know so it's gonna be an interesting fight honestly honestly if i think so halal ham has the experience jinty doesn't have the experience but he went against a very tough opponent very tough opponent halal ham hasn't gone against any tough opponents yet so Maybe, maybe Jin T will win. I think, honestly, 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 I think Jin T will win because Halal Ham has lost again and again and again, and he's very like he's very overweight. I'm not trying to be mean, but he's very fat. I don't know if he'll have the cardio for four rounds. And Jin T looks very fit, and because he's probably gonna train like more often, I think he would actually be prepared for this fight. He probably had a lot of time to prepare for this fight, so I think Jin T might actually be able to win this fight against Halal Ham. But yeah, I just I don't know, but I think Jin T might win because Halal Ham has got like one loss and two wins. But like, he's dead experienced. Three losses and one win. So it's like, it's not good, man. Halal Ham is, I don't think he's for the sport. I don't think he has the worth eth ethic. The work ethic, sorry. The worth ethic? The work ethic for fighting. I think Jinty will have the work ethic for fighting. He'll be a hardworking man and he'll just destroy Halal Ham. So, yeah, and because he has all the advantages, he has reach, he's fit, he's young, he's ready to get in the ring. Halal Ham's short, he's fat. Unless Halal Ham has loads of technique and he knows how to deal with height, then it's a different story. But I don't think he'll be able to um, work with height. I think he'll have a difficult time with height. And Jinty will, if he knows how to use his height, he will pop that jab. He will keep the distance. He will play the range. And he will just keep on hitting him with that jab. And destroy him with the height. Destroy him with the height. Just take him down with the with his height. So, yeah. That's basically it. That's the analysis, guys. Thank you all for watching. This is going to be a very short video. Because obviously, I don't know too much about both of them. And I don't have any footage to analyze. Or else I would have actually done some proper footage to analyze but um yeah that's it if you guys enjoyed please like the video please uh if you're new please subscribe to the channel um it's not looking good for me right now but i'm still gonna grind i'm not gonna give up i'm not gonna give up that easily i'm still gonna grind my views and everything and try and get my watch time back up but if you're new please subscribe uh, and yeah, that's it guys. Thank you all for watching and I'm out. Bang. Peace.